What's up, nerds on ready? Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to Jade Cocoon 2. We're going to the throne room and go to the fire, no water forest straight away. I didn't plan on up. Oh no, wait! I just said water. <laughs> I I didn't plan on recording right now because I already recorded two episodes today, and then I ate something and then I relaxed, watched some videos and then I started up uh, League of Legends, a RAM, so just just for fun, nothing else. Um, and meanwhile I listened to some music, namely Ailstorm. If you don't know who Ailstorm is or what Ailstorm is, it's a uh, Scottish pirate metal band. They do power metal, I think they're categorized as, and it's just one of the most hilarious bands ever, while still being incredibly amazing uh, music-wise, if you like that type of music. And not gonna lie, that pumped me up quite a lot. And now, due to playing League of Legends and then listening to music like that, my adrenaline is still pumping and I thought, okay, let's use that and record some more, because I mean, come on, I love this game. I want to keep recording it, and since I'm basically fully awake right now, most of, mostly, we can just use that. And that's what I'm gonna do, I've gotta record right now, and I might seem a bit hyper in the beginning, I might, it might fall off sooner or later. Okay, we have the better barrier, it looks a bit better. I, I could have sworn we already had that one, but it, I was completely wrong. So yeah, it was it was fun and um, funny and uh, funny enough. In the first game, I randomly got Olaf, the big Viking, and Viking and power metal goes like hand in hand, as we all know. If you don't know, you gotta listen to some more power metal. It's pretty much the greatest thing ever. The, the, in my opinion, the greatest, one of the greatest uh, musical genres of all time because it just. As the father of my girlfriend always says, it's basically happy sound, but it also gets you pumped up. So hardcore heavy sound, happy sound, more or less. Nah, that's something like that. Never fails to get me going. <laughs> and since I'm at the topic of, of music, I... Hmm, okay, we're gonna keep that in mind. There is a healing plant. I recently discovered a band, or basically YouTube discovered it for me, uh, called Bloodbound, which is a power metal band, and that's got that that could sound bad, but trust me, I mean that in the best way possible. They are so incredibly by the books that every single song that I hear from them, or pretty much every single song that I hear from them, is it reminds me of another metal band. And like I said, I mean that in the best way possible. Because I am not a... Let's just say I don't have any musical talent. And I never bothered to like learn anything. I did learn a bit of guitar and flute when I went to school because I had to. But... Hey, I basically did did it just so that I would do it. So I never had any I never had any fun with it. I was never good because I didn't put in more effort than was absolutely needed. And the thing is, listening to Bloodbound, every single song clicks with me. Every I, I basically I understand every single song, not necessarily in a in a written music style, but just I understand. I hear it and I'm like, yes, of course. And like I said, in the best way possible, they completely remind me of different bands. There's one there's one song that reminds me of Iron Maiden, especially uh, Fear of the Dark from Iron Maiden. The song is called Nosferatu, if you want to listen to it. Bloodbound Nosferatu. Amazing. Uh, my favorite band in the whole world is Avantasia. And if you don't know them, by all means, listen to them. And then there's the song uh, When All Lights Fail from Bloodbound. That reminds me of Avantasia. If I didn't know that it was Bloodbound, I would have said it was a early Avantasia song that I just didn't know. Um, 
Then there is a song that reminds me of Dragon Force, which I forgot the uh, title of. There is a song that reminds me of uh, Sabaton, which is when the kingdom falls or something like that. Uh, not not because of the of the voices. It's more of the how the song is made, of the the overall tone of the song, and just every single song works. There are just a handful of songs from them that I really that I don't necessarily enjoy too much but not a single song where I was like ah that sucks and it's just so amazing because like I said reminds me of so much other music uh, it's basically as if the other uh, other bands that I like put out more music it's like yes that is a song from them that is a song from them and it's just more of the stuff that I like and I know Bands really like it when you uh, compare them to others, unless it's basically a band that they are based off or uh, that they are paying tribute to. But still, god damn it, I Bloodbound is amazing, like absolutely amazing because of that, in my opinion. So if you like power metal or if you like melodic music, take a listen. Take a listen? Can you say it like that? Just listen to Bloodbound. It's what I want to say. And Aventasia. By all means, listen to Aventasia. Rick will welcome to you too. Let's execute. <coughs> today, today, I'm gonna get a hug. Hug from Vanilla Slither. <coughs> oh, bullish. Oh, yeah. Water Temple. The uh, Sweet Knights. Totally forgot about them. Pulling any punches. Hey, hey. Oops. I didn't mean to start with a fireside, but I. What can you do? Boom. Can we kill one of the... Pro probably healers? Okay, we can just defeat two of them. I'll be loot. Oh, that's an attack. Ooh. That looks so cool. It's incredible. I would love to teach that to someone. I might teach it to Dot. On the Earth side. Because Ramakia, which increases our defense, is nice and all. But in the same turn, we are... Setting up a barrier. Oh. Same time we're setting up a barrier. And if the barrier holds for at least two turns. Then the defense buff is gone. So basically we set up a barrier now. If it gets destroyed right now. And we get attacked next turn. Then the defense buff is great. If the enemy like those guys aren't strong enough. Like I... I Highly doubt they will destroy the barrier. Oh, they actually did. Nice. Like I said, otherwise the barrier is completely useless. Or mostly useless. Power drain. Was that a, like, leech life situation? Did they get health back? Because power drain was not just damage, right? But I thought it was MP damage, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. Uh, we're gonna use Fireside because let's just obliterate this thing. I like those slimies, but still, we're gonna destroy it. <coughs> thing is, Desperado Hit... <laughs> Desperado Hit is actually way better than I gave it credit for. Because Cactus really has quite decent HP. Luch, on the other hand, I think has less HP in general. So Luch would take way more damage, especially since Luch does more damage. So the more damage you deal, the more damage you take. Um, Luch has 374, while... Oh no, Luch actually has more. Huh. I... Pretty much every time I completely misread Luch's strength and all. After this fight, I think we're gonna go back to the healing plant. Just to heal everyone. To be safe. What do I do? Oh, maybe I'll slime. That sounds so wrong. I hate you. <laughs> and I like slime is and all, but this guy is just that sounded so creepy. And punch and hit in the face. Good thing is I'm ephemeral slime. The fuck? Okay. <laughs> Like, to my knowledge, you cannot miss the enemy tamer if you attack. As far as I know. Or beast hunter or 
Trainer, whatever. As promised, a, present. a medal? Yeah. I have one. I need two to get something. Well, see. Yeah, bye bye. Now give me something that upgrades slimes. Okay, too bad. Would have been cool. Would have increased the MP of Dot. And Dot, as we know, is incredibly useful and great, and I like it. Alright, where was the plant? Was you the plant? The heating plant. No, you wasn't. I think the healing plant was the second ogre vine we went into, right? So it could be this. Nope. Next one, please. It wasn't in the last level, right? It was in this level, right? Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Wait, their health is restored, but yeah, their mana as well, okay. Because yeah, I just realized this time that it uh, that it said their health is restored. But that also means that means everything. Not just their health points, it's just everything. Come on! No, okay. Hey, hey. Let's do what two beast hunters do when they're alone. Oh, behave. <laughs> Battle. Come on. <laughs> Of course, it's whoa, what's that? What do you mean? What do peace hunters do? Ah, uh, Kahu is so incredibly stupid. I like him. Let's start the battle. Kinda, at least. Um, you know what? <laughs> let's start with. Let's start with the blaze book, and then just completely obliterate their water site. Almost killed two of them. Which my guys will do now. Okay, so first turn. Destroying two of them. I don't have that attack yet. Don't show me that all the time. Now we're gonna switch Ramakai. That's defense upgrade, right? Ramakia? Ramakis? Something like that? Yeah. Okay, this is gonna suck, although we still have Cactus with his ability to nullify defense. We have the weak version of it, with little gems, while the enemy has big gems. But we have barriers, so... We don't have any problems. Alright, we will heal for now, and... Shoot a big laser from the sky, because that's what we do. We are shooting lasers from the sky. Kids, you can do anything, except shoot lasers from the sky. <laughs> Gotta be a strange squid for that. Boom! That actually does quite a lot for a pretty high race defense. I like it. But with a Solia, we're gonna just completely wreck shop here. Boom! Oh yeah, there. I was like, yeah, this kills. This probably kills, but nope, they have high defense now. Dark Crash. Doesn't matter. Um, You know what? We're gonna set up the barrier again. Like I always say, it doesn't stack, but it renews the barrier. So it's like the hit right now just didn't happen ever. Crash again, doesn't matter to us. And now we're gonna switch over to the water side just for MP purposes. MP purposes, as they say. And we're gonna heal everyone to full. We're gonna attack with a big space laser because that's amazing. And we're still not gonna kill anyone unless we. Now, yeah, well, if we attack the left one, we will kill. If we attack the middle one, no one will die. Oh, yeah! We kill. Space laser destroys. And it looks cool while doing that. Icy space laser, by the way. Not just any space laser, it's an ice space laser. And we completely heal, which is great for MP purposes and because we evolve. Cactus for the win. Should do more damage now. 62, 72. Okay, okay, that is actually... Wait a minute! 
Are you telling me that limit break, confuse and damage means that I get confused every now and then? Are you kidding me? Mm, so exciting. Like I'm about to go to another world. This guy is creepy. Let me uh, I, I'm gonna go now. Many beast hunters have passed ahead of me. They'll never run out. This guy is creepy. I want to get away from him. And really? Luch gets. <laughs> and it's such a stupid attack. Excellent, as usual. So we have two strong attacks with huge drawbacks. Hey, you okay, sir? Guppy to you. But I'm okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, give me. We have one. Only one. Well, then, see. Huh, whatever. I, I, I mean, it took us like how many, like last episode, a few attacks and today until we saw it once, but still we have a chance to get confused from our own attack. That sucks. So I'd much, you know, I much rather use Desperado hit then. Because now we have L damage that might confuse us, not the enemy, us. The other one would be XL damage with the bonus. Ooh, be a healer, please. But the other one would be a freaking XL attack with like hitting us for 25% of the damage. Frog ass. That is not a healer, that is one of those blind or HP leech or MP leech, something like that. <laughs> We're gonna set up a barrier so it should not come through. And we're gonna hit it. Yay! It just attacks. So the barrier holds, which means we're gonna switch to water for now. Power drain! I knew it! So I really wanna see what that does later when we go back. Which is hopefully after we deal with the whole of the water forest for now. Or at least the fourth level of the water forest. So yeah, just burn them down. Burn, baby, burn. Desperado hit, which is very strong. Limit break. Oh my goodness, that was strong. Also, with Desperado hit, we have a higher critical hit chance, which I did not like. It. So far, it didn't seem that way, but what can you do? It's just a chance. But with that said, it would absolutely not be bad with luge because luge is a powerhouse in and of itself but with a higher crit chance as well and xl damage that sounds about amazing all right we haven't seen anything of the sweet knights so far not that I need to see them, because every now and then it's just extremely stupid in terms of conversation. But, I mean, it's some development. So, <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing them. Also, there might be just some battles with them, which is always great because uh, Tamer, Trainer battles, whatever they are called again, Beastmaster battles, give more EXP than just regular old wild bells. I think we went everywhere so far, right? Like I keep saying, a bigger map would be great. But yeah, it looks like we're done with this map. So where was, where was the, the exit again? Was it up there? No? Oh yeah, up there. So I was completely right, just too far behind, back, whatever. We're gonna save for good measure. And we're gonna go go we're gonna go go ahead. We're gonna go ahead. By the way, today it's pretty overcast, so it doesn't matter, but I fixed the lighting system. And by that I mean I just bought blinders. <laughs> but it works. Okay, we're just gonna power through. We should be able to kill two of them, hopefully. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Desperado hit, you dead. Limit break, you dead. 
And now water attack because we strong. Heal back the Desperado hit. And Vale Luna could kill. Oh, come on. 1 HP? Ooh, Meta Knight. Damn, that looks cool. Um, we cannot kill with this normally. Like, we should do once again around 60, 68 uh, damage with Cactus. 68, yeah. I just did it so that our uh, Earth allies will would get some EXP as well. Namely Twingo, because he's the only one that doesn't get any boosted experience when I use fire and water, but not earth. Desperado hit, kills. Still, like I said, for a higher crit rate, we rarely see any crits. Okay, let's go here, because this, is, this seems to be a dead end afterwards. Kill you. Sure, go ahead and try. B -b 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 bitch and yes, I said the b b b b because I wasn't sure if I wanted to say... Okay! <laughs> if I wanted to say the word or not. Okay, a merman! Who attacks? That is pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> I want to see what attack you have. So it's a... Nah... Monster, right? Because that the same mask as the Nah Beast Hunter. Right, it was not. Nah. Yeah, cool is. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'd, I'm pretty sure it's not. Nah. Does that matter in any way? No, it really doesn't. All right, let's just attack and see. Come on, what do you do? Psycho crash. S. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I should. Get some socks. Because, oh wow, he lives. My window is open and I don't have any socks, so... Might not be the worst idea. But it's very nice and warm outside, so it's not the worst thing. Worst thing, worst thing. It's not the worst thing. Okay, we killed it, we're gonna get Psycho Crash, which, which, which sounds pretty interesting, not gonna lie. What I want though is Medi Knight. I want the better, the better healing ability. That's it. And I want to be able to talk. Because <laughs> some people would say talking is overrated. I would say gang gang. <laughs> I don't know. I I I cannot carry any more items. Excuse me. Then let's give Mel's Elixir to Cactus, because as always, Cactus has MP problems. A merge with a monster that gives it MP or uh, more MP in general would be a good idea. But then I would have to get rid of N F F F F A an ability it has right now. And that kind of sucks. Once again, cannot carry any more items. I mean, we know basically because we just had the same problem. Let's just use this, let's just stop it, and I think this is a Malice Elixir from the looks of it, right? Yeah, but the better one, so basically we're good. Hey, you! Hey, you, what you gonna do? We're gonna use an item, we're gonna use a blaze book and just hope for the best that we can kill them all. Nope, we cannot. But we're gonna kill at least two of them. Crit? Can AoE attacks crit? They must be able to, right? Damn, that's strong. Psycho crash. Oh yeah, that's an MP attack. And a very stre a strong one at that. Hmm. Not gonna teach it to anyone, but it's good to know. Good to know. Oh. You never know when you're gonna need it. And by you, I mean me. And by me, I mean... Me! In case that wasn't clear. Let's do... Oh. I was about to say, let's do the same thing again and use an item. But then I pressed X and I attacked, so... 
Oops. Okay, yeah, that... That works. Holy shit. That was strong. <clears throat> Once again, we're gonna heal, we're gonna space laser and heal MP with that. Baboom. And by baboom, I mean baboom. Wow, it lives. Which means we can also use the earth side, because cactus will destroy. <coughs> Boom. Alright, level 6, that's great. Level 14, that's even better. Now, if we find the Kalma that gives us better healing, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? Uh, let's go in here first. Kalma? It's a book once again. Do I want to use a book? Holy hell. I should start using these freaking books. Let's get rid of the HP back plus book because I do have two HP plus plus books. Which give back all <coughs> HP. Oh, your resurrect book. That is actually useful. That I'm gonna keep around. I bet I'm gonna kill you. Sorry. Alright. Ah, uh, sleepy. No, no. Awaken the serum. Resurrect. Attacking. You know what? Sure. Let's upgrade our attack. Can we kill? Of course we can. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend just wrote me that she completely forgot that yesterday when they went shopping, she uh, took some sweets with her and now she's happy. <laughs> Sorry, just have to write back. Very unprofessional as always. Okay. But hey, I mean... What can you do? You cannot do anything. <laughs> please don't click off the video, please. <laughs> We're gonna increase you know what? I really I really need to teach. Oh I just realized something. So if we're gonna if we find the Kalma that gives us the better healing, which is highly likely because we keep running into those guys with the big healing, then we're gonna merge Oh Tiki, when did Tiki evolve? <laughs> You should pay more attention. Um, then we're gonna give dot. Then we're gonna merge dot with the Kalma or with the cocoon or whatever, so that it gets the better healing. If we don't find it, which is highly unlikely, but could al always be a possibility, then we're gonna give Alviluna or whatever the cool Earth attack to dot. Yes, you. Kill you. You're a healer. I know that. Come on, show me slime. Uh, show me dot. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's the fully evolved version of our little guy. And it's so amazing looking. Seriously, I love it. Looks like... Like King Newt. <laughs> oh, I freaking... I... Uh, it's... It's... it's so cool looking and okay we th the stronger attack will have to wait because we get a stronger heal which it, it just jumps through a barrier my goodness goodness gracious that was amazing but still we're gonna give it a finger <laughs> boom that deals quite a bit of damage and now we're gonna do what we do best we're gonna freaking cause some mayhem with fire types 66, that's a little bit of mayhem. Desperado hit 117, that's a lot. And 188, that's mayhem. Great. Next cocoon. Which will make our healer better as soon as it levels up one more time. But then again, we're gonna go keep going t 
till we are at till we defeated the boss of this area i think until we go back and until we go back and you know what i mean you know what i want to say come on don't make me say it and <laughs> <laughs> uh, right shield, hard hit book, boost attack of attackers. Mm -hmm. Or I could use Hellfire to absolutely kill him, but no. You know what? Yes. Because Hellfire, I think, can be used more often than once. <clears throat> or at least has a chance to, because I'm pretty sure we had this one ring that we used two or three times. And the attacking book or whatever it was called will I will just keep for the boss probably because making luch and cactus hit harder sounds like sounds like a great time to me. That absolutely does. We have the initiative, yay! Which means we're gonna set up. Just for some EXP. <coughs> Then, we're gonna switch the fire side to the front to just try and kill as many of them as we possibly can before they can heal. And by that I mean two. Last one will heal so we can use our own healers and then attack with the fire side again, which once again makes the fight a bit longer, a bit more tedious, but I mean, is also a great chance to get everyone a good amount of exp boom just destroy that is so strong i love it and we can even give it a the better version of that later on as soon as it's level 15 because we got that cocoon calma thing that's so great this system, I, I really like this system of merging with the Karma and stuff like that, and just... It, it's really cool. Oh my goodness, so many fights, I don't have the MP for that! Healing plant? Oh my goodness! This is one of the only times that we actually got it when we really needed it! That's amazing! And still, like I said, we haven't seen anything... Yeah, Hellfire, we still have it. We still haven't seen anything from the Sweet Knights. Just, just attack. Boom. We're gonna kill the fish, I guess. No, actually not. We're gonna kill the healers. That's awesome. And this thing only attacks, which is great, because otherwise it would have used, uh, taken away some of our MP. Because it has psycho attack, psycho hit, psycho something. It has a psycho attack. We're gonna see a psycho shot. Psycho crash. Even better. 103 MP taken away. That is. Damn! That's a whole lot. A twingle levels up or uh, evolved. Sorry. No, oh, I like it. I really like it. Thing is cool. And we're gonna crash into it with Cactus to defeat it after this barrier of Beridia. Boom, that's a big Beridia. Boom, that was a blast. To the face. Okay, we, we don't have the... Whatchamacallit yet. The Key Spore. That's what it's called. We don't have that yet. Doesn't really matter. Maiden Knight. There is a medication. I don't know if it's like the same worldwide or just an Austrian thing or, or German or whatever. But it's called Vic Maiden Knight. For medication and knight. So every time I see them using Maiden Knight, I have to think about that. Now you know about medication. <laughs> ah, I freaking hate it because it tastes like uh, like peppermint, but with alcohol. Because I mean, medication mostly has or uh, most of medication has alcohol in it. Cannot carry any more items, so I don't care. Although 
maybe I do care at least a little bit to use Mel's Elixir on Muchi and grab the better Mel's Elixir. Yay! Yeah, because as we all know, uh, many, many medication things, medicine stuff has alcohol in it to keep it safe for consumption consumption I'm uh, just right is it is it isn't it so that it is uh so that it doesn't go bad as fast or is that or is there some different reason for that I never thought about that too much I think it was due to making it live a little longer if, if you know what I mean and I absolutely I, I don't drink alcohol I mostly because I don't like the taste and I don't like what it does so basically to me alcohol is completely useless but that also means that when there is even a little bit a shred of alcohol in anything i will taste it i heard some people be like yeah come on don't be that way you barely taste it i'm like i mean if i didn't taste it then i wouldn't say anything right like what good would it do to me to say there is something bad with something if there is nothing bad with it like it doesn't make any sense but no i yeah you don't you don't taste it and i'm like yes i do because i hate alcohol and so i can taste even the smallest even even the, the faintest bit of it same thing with uh, coconut oil i like fresh coconut which i had like twice or three times like fresh coconut from the tree cracked open and you drink it you eat it stuff like that it's it's great i really like it you okay? oh. Papa, <laughs> don't scare me what do you sense noisy bad feeling now that you mention it i get that feeling Hey, Nico, not you too. Could we get close to the orb? Maybe. Can we get by without an ordeal? Something's bound to happen. Just a little further. We must be close. Yeah, good question. The thing is, this is the first time we clear... We will clear uh, level 5 of a forest, right? And I don't know if level... F uh, level 4. And I don't know if level 4 is their last one. Who knows? But yeah, the, the other thing, like like I said, coconut, fresh coconut is great. But as soon as it's not fresh coconut, but let's say stuff like, um, I don't know, Bounty or whatever, like chocolate uh, chocolate bars with cocoa, uh, coconut in them, I hate it. Uh, like, I am a huge fan of curry, but... In many cases, it's made with coconut milk, which I always taste out of it. So, if it's made with anything else but coconut milk, which I know some would call it bl blasphemous, um, I'm okay with it. If there's coconut in it, it really depends on how much I taste of it. And then there was this one time that my uh, ex-girlfriend was making, uh, making something, schnitzel, and... I didn't eat them that day, I ate them next day like cold. Or no, I didn't eat it uh, for lunch, I ate it in the evening, that's it. Cold out of the fridge. And I ate it and I was like, ah, you made that with coconut oil, right? She's like, yeah, how could you tell? Like, I, I taste it. She was like, but you, I mean, come on, you cannot taste that. I was, was like, then why would I ask? Anyway. Damn. What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? What the heck? <laughs> So, Cure is the boss. 
Interesting. Damn! And we are the Kalma. Seemingly. Okay. So, are we gonna fight or? Shut up. If you're a friend, die. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, like I'm gonna pretend like I know what's going on. I mean, is this so? So we are evil Kalma Kahu, but we're still fighting with our monsters, and we're fighting Cure in her true form. And I'm, which we would basically do anyway, right? I am slightly confused. And by the way. Couldn't, like, evil Kahu attack with the rest, in theory? Just asking for friends. <laughs> okay, I mean, we're just gonna do the fight. We're just gonna f fight the fight because that's what we're here for, right? Um, we're gonna set up a barrier again. Ignite. Okay, that's way less... Way less damage than I thought it would do. And also we're gonna crash, so we're gonna ignore the armor uh, the defense change. But as always, we're only doing 68 damage. That's not a whole lot. We need more damage. We need the fire side. Even if this thing's, if uh, Cure's defense is up, we're still dealing a lot of damage. It increases its defense, but that doesn't matter too much because we're gonna use a book. Unless Evil Kahu cannot? No, no, he can. He can? It can? I don't know. Uh, hard hit book. Boost attack of attackers. <laughs> that probably doesn't include this one, right? But the other two, they. Deal decent damage, even though the enemy's uh, defense is quite high. Defense parameter went up. Do we get a damage boost? No. I thought it would say something like uh, attack parameter went one went up, but maybe it was just for this one turn. We don't know. We're gonna switch to the water side now. MP and stuff. It's just yeah, we're gonna do the same thing as always. And because the water side is pretty bulky, so... Yeah, okay, Ramakite, so it doesn't really matter if we're bulky or not, because we're not gonna take any damage. But we're gonna heal, and we're gonna... Re 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 not resurrect, we're gonna... Restore some MP for... Cactus and all. Half health down... That's pretty alright. 
But now we're once again just going to go full power, although half power basically because of the defense upgrade. The thing is though, damn. The thing is, uh, Luch. Um. Hmm. Can we try to poison? I highly doubt that, yeah. Bosses rarely get poisoned or anything. Which I always found kinda stupid. Because. Uh, oh? Is that the strongest space laser? Nope. Was that Nico? <laughs> that was a little fairy. Was that Nico? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, wow, we're gonna heal. And maybe. Maybe use the same. Hmm. Maybe use the water side again, but use the HP back book to heal even further. And also because I keep saying that I need to use those books. Yeah, great. So now uh, Tiki is will m oh wow will mostly be full health. Did, did it steal that health? Because it looked like it, but there was no number, was there? <laughs> Whatever. Attack and just hope for the best for Luch, because we don't have anything to stop it from being confused. Luch, please? Yes! Yaki Luna. Oh yeah, no, it, it actually... It actually recovered some. Some HP. Damn it. Stop it. Is it HP or MP that it recovers? No, HP. So, what we're gonna do now is use another HP back book, maybe? Do we need to? Because we have the barrier, so it cannot kill us anyway. At least not for now. We're gonna use the water side, because why not? It will attack the barrier now, which doesn't matter. Barrier went down. And if Moochie doesn't kill, we could just use the Inferno Ring or whatever. Which would, without a doubt, kill. I mean, nah, we're gonna just attack again. Because even if it heals with that, and yes, that is Nico. <laughs> even if it heals with that, it will not be enough to live the next attack. And like I said, a water side. It's pretty decent in taking hits. And that should kill it. Space Laser! Obliterate. Okay, okay, that, that was a cool boss fight. I'm not gonna lie, but what the heck is wrong with Kao and the Kalma and whatever? That's a lot of EXP! Yes! That is amazing! Here. And we're back to normal Kahu. So that was helpful, Kalma. So we basically murdered the dragon inside of her. No. Open your eyes. Oh, but we also everyone killed her. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, I can live with that. We basically... Or not. <laughs> hey, Nico, you think my voice reached the orb? If it did, then why is Kirko? I don't know. So, she did say thank you. I, I don't know. Come on, let's go. But what's important is we got the water orb, which is humongous, but for some reason we just picked it up. Okay, but hey, so level four was actually the last level for the water forest.
Damn, damn. That is not an orb. That is a crystal, not an orb. <laughs> to get the first door <laughs> only three minutes left you have a long way to go but i know you can do it hey levon those orbs why do they test people you mean seeing whether we can only live together is something wrong that what <laughs> Didn't want to fight her. Indeed. It sounds like what the forest god would do. So, was I right? Sometimes going on living is harder than dying. You did everything you could to go on living, right? I, I get what they're saying. But on the other hand, it is so incredibly stupid. And also when like when he said why why is the orb testing us and he's like what you mean to see if we can all live together when, when was that ever established when did anyone ever say something like that <laughs> I, I this game still I love this game but it's 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 dialogue is is ugh. <laughs> absorb HP XL Ooh. resist all special attack. Recover HP, XL all allies. That's what we want. And cuts damage from wind attacks. That's not bad. I mean, we rarely take damage from wind attacks. MP damage, XL. And up strength by 10. Ooh. Yeah, we can now take the next adv advancement level test thing. Ah, okay, do we do that right now? No. Yes? No. First... We're gonna do this. And we're gonna. <laughs> I mean, Valu, di Valu died would be amazing because XXL attack. But Medi Knight is just amazing. Amazing healing. And we got Dot. We're still gonna keep the name Dot. And we're gonna put it right here, as always. Now, we're gonna... Yeah, we would be done with the episode, so what we're gonna do right now is... Drop some beasts off... To merge, to pick up some other beasts and merge other ones. Uh, I think four should suffice, hopefully. Okay, beast pickup. We got Peanut, Quincy, Chestnut, Gremlin, Blaster, Ridiculous, Scrappy. Wow, we got quite a lot. And Nemesis, we basically also... You know what, let's start with Nemesis this time. Um, take Peanut with us. Take... Who else? Quincy with us. Oh yeah, I gave all of them Imago. I, I, I remember. And Chestnut. And that's it for now. Uh, you know what? Let's drop off Tiki for now. So this is basically bonus. We're gonna end the episode right after that. Um. I want Ridiculous, because it looks just like the name suggests Ridiculous. I want to merge beasts. We want to see how many of them we can merge with the, 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 the... Okay, wait, we have an Alco, so technically if we were to fuse it with this one, that would give us... Excellent compatibility. I don't know if that gives us more points since this was an A level thing. Ugh. <laughs> it's one of those guys. Okay, uh, merge next one. We 
Wait, let me let me see. That seems to not have had any effect. But by that I mean um, the amount of levels we get for merging. That didn't seem to have any effect. Zagara, so give it a Gara, right? Makes the most sense. Uh, we could just give it the Imago thing, but we're... Oh, nope. And it seems it's just... It doesn't matter the strength of the merged beast. It's mostly just... Wait. Oops. Did I, did I screw up? I might have screwed up. I mean, slightly. Are you? Oh, you're a bug and I merged you with the Gara because I am smart. Do we have fire Gara? Because now we have a Gara. The answer is no. No, we don't. So we're gonna go for this again. Same thing. I keep saying I just... Oh, it's one of those guys. Oh, Chestnut is such a great name for it. Yeah, I love it. Huh. Okay, who's next? Magma. No, uh, Ma Peanut. Magma is its ability or its attack. Uh, Gara once again, so we're gonna... Stay on this side. Because Twingo and stuff like that. It's just... No, the drill. You, you understand it by now. And since it has the Imago ability, it is, oops, it is already fully evolved. At least as much as it can be for now. Merge beasts. And like I said, I, I don't use or merge those guys to use them. I just merge them to see what they do. It is a slimy, right? Yes, we want to hatch and see. Oh, it's a better chameleon. Which doesn't mean that it's great, it's just better. <laughs> Alright, beast kennel, beast drop off. We're gonna drop off all of them for now. So basically, if you fuse them with the same family that they are, then two merges are enough to give it one more or give it the next uh, the next form basically and that's basically what I want to do I just want to upgrade them to see what they evolve into I do not need them to be strong or anything uh, okay and we have three more in theory oh I didn't no yes no nemesis was completely all right Ooh, but Amadeus, I, I really want to do... Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna do... what uh, The other level 20s that we already had one. Okay, so four more mergers all in all. Then we're gonna build the next te our team back up again. And then we're gonna end it for now. I mean, we did it. We, we did get the water crystal. It wasn't an orb. Although, when it was in that thing, it looked like it had an orb around it. But now that we have it, there is no orb anymore. So, I don't know. Um, now, merge beasts. Four more, as we said. You. You're an orc. With an orc, we want another orc. Uh... Yeah. Yes, we want to hatch it, and we already have this form. That's awesome. All right, merge beasts. Um, I really want to see what Amadeus will become. Like seriously, merge with another orc once again. Want to hatch it? Yes, and it's another luge guy. I don't know why I why I wanted to merge this guy because I mean, it's not like I'm gonna use him. 
I, I think I thought about using it on the wind side as soon as I can use one more. So maybe that was the idea about it. Um, Scrappy the Slitherrack. Wait a minute. Uh, what are you, Gara? But you don't have the Imago ability yet. So we're gonna give you this one. Oh, oh yeah, still the rack. That's the thing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. That will be interesting. What they, what this thing turns into then. And Amadeus is a Mao. Um. Do we have a Mao? It seems like the answer is a no. Do we have a Mao around here? Gara life, Gara life. Drag, slimy, oh, Gara. Do, do we have any mouse? The answer might be no. That's why they are so hard to train, because there are no other mouse, at least. Really. Huh. Still gonna use this one for the Imago ability. <gasps> oh yeah, it's one of those guys. All of them. <laughs> Amadeus is such a great name for a thing like that. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Okay, now we're done. Like, now we are done. We are just going to drop all of them off. would be nice if we had the ability to withdraw or drop off more than one at a time. But that again, PS2 and all. Not saying that it wouldn't be able to, but... Beast pickup! Cactus, you as always get the Vanguard. Is that right in that case? Is the Vanguard... Whatever, you get the side. <laughs> Luch, straight center, my man. Tiki, obviously, on the other side, the wind side, basically. Because if we are going to use wind later on, a having a strong magic attacker on the wind side is not a bad idea. Dot. And that should be it, right? Exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save, and next episode we're gonna go to the next... Uh... To the next forest and maybe just train a little bit until we think we can take on the arena to increase our monster pool basically anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'm a renegade cactus and i gotta run bye bye